Hi, it's me again with Grow Doll Tips and Tricks. I've made several videos on doing this exact same thing, but everybody is a little different. Every figure is a little different. And if we look at this, uh, it's got a white or a, got a box around it. And if we go to enhance and quite possibly put a yellow box around it, it should have a white background. And so we're going to remove that. Uh, can't even think what I'm doing. It doesn't show up, but for the first time, somebody answered my question that it does print white. And as you can see it, you know, if we go to view and wireframe, it's a bitmap that has a white bounding box around it. Really no way to get rid of it like that. So we're gonna do this. And for the one I'm doing it, do a, a change your duplicate distance to zero, zero. I'm gonna change my nudge to like 4.5 and I'm gonna make a copy of it, move it over. Now, I'm gonna take this one and it's a small picture. So I can go to trace bitmap, outline trace, clip art. Now it's gonna make it look terrible, but what it did is remove, let me move that out of the way. Let me see how the, all the bitmap effects is and it wouldn't work. But if we look at it now under wireframe, there's no box. There's still a box around the two originals. So we're going to go back to enhance. The good thing about this, now all I do is take a rectangle and fill it in with any color. I'm going to use different than black. Let me use blue. And what it did, it took an outline of that picture. Now for the video, I'm going to change colors, but you really don't have to. And then I'm going to fill in that one. And then I'm going to take it over to my original and select well beyond it to make sure I get everything and make sure the intersect tool comes up and then intersect it. And there's your picture with no bounding box. You can see, see the bounding box there. Well, there's no bounding box here. It's going to be a good clean. Uh, if we look at under wireframe, there's nothing there, uh, but clean picture. It, it's, it's really amazing. I'm glad finally a printer told me that it did print and kind of messed everything up. Um, the only other thing I might try is try to smooth this out a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't go here with this video, but these are all nodes and you could take the smoothing tool set on like 0.5 of an inch and just grab that and watch what happens. Well, let's get here to a rougher spot. Let's make sure we click on it. Look at that. Look at how it kind of smooths out those uh, rough spots in his hair. And then granted, I mean, there's a really bad spot that needs to be taken care of. Uh, you could do that with the shape tool and just take both these nodes and right click and delete them and maybe even move this one in now. Um, you know, after you can kind of see the picture, you can kind of see uh, some faults in it. You know, maybe what's what's going on around his ear right there? That's a bad spot. Take those two out. Select those two and right click and turn them into a line. And, you know, you could actually, you could do a lot of work. You don't, probably don't really have to, but you could add a node and, kind of bring it into there. Of course, you don't want a sharp corner, so you could get back to the smoothing tool and just kind of smooth that out a little bit. You know, around his beard and his ears, uh, quite a bit of work could be done. Uh, you could probably do it all with the smoothing tool. You have to make sure you select it. And, you know, even though it kind of blends in, it's going to uh, it's going to help the picture quite a bit. You know, some of it you're going to have to do with the shape tool. Uh, where the smoothing tool is trying to smooth out everything, the shape tool is only going to go to that line. And I think after you do some of it, uh, you'll really notice the difference. You know, what I look for is like nodes that are sticking off, you know, like double nodes, because there's, there's some rough spots there. And, you know, you could... You could delete a lot of nodes, but then you might go too far and have too, too straight a line. 
So if you take the smoothing tool and just, you could actually make it kind of maybe even smaller in this case. But the bigger, the bigger your smoothing tool is, the uh, faster it's going to work. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.